Joining us this morning, Columbia University professor and 2001 Nobel Prize winner for economics, Joseph Stiglitz. Also, Edmund Phelps, the winner of the 2006 Nobel Prize in economics. He is also the director of the Center on Capitalism and Society at Columbia University. Uh, we brought in the big brains today. Brainiac Friday, we're calling this. <laughs> Been getting emails all morning long from several people. Uh, and oh. You want to start with them now? Oh, sure. Yeah. Why don't we, why don't we get to some email questions that came in? Okay. Here comes, here's one from uh, Srinath in uh, New Delhi, believe it or not. Who do you think will be better for the economy, President Clinton, President Obama, uh, or President McCain? Joe, I know you worked uh, under the previous Clinton administration, right? The Council yes. of Economic Advisors. Are you still with that camp? Uh, I actually think that President Obama will, will do a better job uh, on, on the economy. Uh, I think one of the problems is that the world changes and uh, you have to change your economic framework, your economic philosophy and uh, the Clinton administration is, a, the, is too tied to a set of policies that were appropriate in 1992. Those so, being? Oh, well, th things like deficit reduction, uh, really important, uh, made a big difference, but right now uh, deficit hawks, uh, if they go down that route, real problem. We do have to reduce our deficit, but it only is one important piece of, of the agenda. Uh, you have to deal with the foreclosure problem. Uh, really, you know, it's not only an economic problem, it's a social problem. Uh, <coughs> two million Americans are expected to lose their home. Some numbers go, go up two, three, four times uh, that number. So it's an economic and a social problem. Uh, we have to rethink uh, the regulatory framework. The deregulation that began in the Clinton administration in the financial markets sure. is largely responsible for some of the problems that we're facing today. I wrote about that in my book, Roaring Nineties. You know, I saw that coming. Uh, we were engaged in a lot of discussion. Uh, and, you know, it was, frank quite frankly, one of the mistakes that we you, made. You're referring to Glass-Steagall, I assume. Uh, Glass-Steagall as, as one example. But it was an overall regulatory framework that said, Leave it to the markets; they know best. And you, and, and and you think Obama is the best conduit for that broad regulatory change that you're talking about? Exactly. I mean, he's given actually a brilliant speech on on the economy uh, that he gave down in New York uh, about, uh, down in uh, New York about three weeks ago. Uh, it really was a brilliant speech, you know, on the economy, just like his brilliant speech on race. Uh, I, I really think uh, you know everybody should read that because it does give a clear view of going forward. Professor Phelps, I know uh, politics can be a tricky personal subject. Is this something you want to weigh in on or you want to take the next question? Oh, well, i just uh, say that I, I think that um, it, it, it's a good time to get a, uh, a new set of players with, with the hope of some new ideas. And so I think from that point of view, uh, it, it would be a good idea to, to bet on uh, President Obama. Okay. Uh, he would be the new voice, and he would probably be receptive to other new voices. Okay, let's get to the next email question. Steve writes in.